most prosthesis in the fingers are what they call passive devices. These will become what's known as an active device. And by that, I mean you are the, the uh, function and they will be activated by the residual portion of the finger that you have on left after an amputation. You have, a, they have a pan or a, uh, actuating a lever. As you move the finger, this pan, push on it with your stub of your finger, it curls. The actuating bars are, are, have a th interesting thing about the finger is the finger is, we always think of it when we hold our hand straight as being the longest in position. That's not true. As the finger curls, even the natural finger, it actually becomes longer. And that's because of the function in your knuckles. And this mimics those perfectly. Uh, as you can see, it curls naturally. And, uh, and it's all controlled by this pan or actuating lever that is attached to your residual finger. And uh, that's where you get the, the uh, action of it. And you also, that is also where you develop the grip uh, because you are able to put pressure. And the more pressure you put on the pan, the more the finger will curl. Because this is an active device, you will be able to use it to grip uh, to uh, keyboard on a computer. It's interesting how much sensitivity is transferred to the stub portion 